Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames, messieurs, my dear and gentlemen, señores y señoras, mesdames et messieurs, here we are once again, and it is um, the finals of the U.S. Craft Cup number 25. We have Angry here as the Red Terran at the one, two, three o'clock position, and at the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12 o'clock position, we have Chance spawning as the pink Zerg. So, um, what did just happen in the last game? I mean, Angry was able to win this. We see it in the scoreboard being displayed there as well. And uh, with Angry being able to win this game, he is up 1-0, and the reason why he won this game, because he was constantly, and I meant this in the best possible, in the good possible way, uh, he was a pain in the ass, he was always attacking, he was always applying pressure, and he did a very, very good job at constantly applying the pressure here um, towards uh, Chance, and even though Chance was able to get an expansion up, etc., uh, etc., et Angry had the better upgrades, he had the uh, better production capabilities, and he was constantly being aggressive, even though Chance just uh, cleared up uh, one attack after another, but in the end, Chance was playing, uh, Angry was playing a little bit more cost effective, because uh, in the end the upgrades made the difference. But um, just imagine at, um, when Chance was moving out with his Zerglings and his Banelings towards the Planetary Fortress, just imagine him having four more Banelings in the mix to attack this Planetary Fortress. Maybe with the Planetary Fortress down, this uh, first game could have uh, had a very different uh, ending. But now Chance is uh, getting attacked by Angry, but Angry with this uh, spine crawler out, Chance with his Zerglings out, and Chance with more Zerglings in production is still in a good position to hold off this one, two, double barracks attack. And it looks like he wants to attack um, the Overlord with his Marines, but there are too many uh, Marines, uh, too many Zerglings, and especially with his screen out, to hold this attack completely off and now we see the units lost what only three units lost for chance and now angry is um already losing six um units here five marines one scv and yes this is the us craft number 25 finals game number two on metalopolis S thank you very much asturian uh for telling us this he's a very very um nice um admin from the craft cup Uh, he's a very, very nice person to talk to, very mannered. He even came to the chat here, uh, Special Andre at uh, Craignet is the channel, by the way, and he apologized for a delay, which was like uh, one minute. So uh, this is really worth some applause by me and... Um I was just too uh, too busy uh, clapping with my hands, so I was not realizing uh, what mistake uh, the player just did. But anyway, it looks like it was uh, nothing uh, too serious at the moment. Oh, he just killed his own SCV. Thank you very much. Of course, I saw this. <laughs> no, uh, thank you very much, uh, Lemuel, uh, stating the obvious here in the chat. And what is the response by Chance right now? Looks like Chance wants to go for some high Baneling aggression once again. And just remember, in the last game, he only had Banelings and Zerglings. I mean, later on, he added a Rotron and he added some Infestors, but no Mutas at all. And Mutas are quite common unit to have in TVZ. So that's why I'm not really sure... Uh, if he will be too successful with this. I mean, of course, assuming that, um, by the way, nice pickup. Once again, Angry uh, moving around the whole map trying to pick up some overlords, and every overlord in the end counts. Of course, but I just wanted to talk about that the longer Angry is not having any siege tanks of any kind, um, the Banelings can do quite some damage. He just started with the centrifugal hooks once again, and maybe, hopefully, this time Chance will be a little bit more patient. With his Banelings, because... Uh, 
maybe waiting for the centrifugal hooks will be a better choice than to attack right away. Of course, if you are under attack, if you need to defend yourself, why not do it? Um, but other than that, I would personally wait until the centrifugal hooks is finished. Now we see Angry moving up here uh, from the left side to the top on the high round expansion, but then he sees... Uh, there is no expansion, time for me to pull back, but he's now splitting up his forces, now he's regrouping with his forces, and there we see the Zirklings and the Banelings moving out. What about the Centrifugal Hook? Still takes another 25 seconds, so looks like he wants to do some damage anyway, but it might not be enough, and there he's just morphing in 13 more Banelings. So we have... Whoa, 25 Banelings in total, and with those 25 Banelings, just imagine those 25 Banelings being walked in directly here. You will be able to take out this Orbital Command, this Command Center, and this Bunker at the same time. This will be absolutely awesome. There are the Zerklings moving in, there are the Banelings rolling in, and now there are Banelings everywhere. Let's take a look how much damage will he be able to do. Banelings following those remaining SCVs. SCVs trying to be split up, all the SCVs going down, more Zerklings intercepting the remaining forces here. There are the Marines of Angry coming back, but now the Banelings trying to move in here. Um, at the front, he will take out uh, this Supply Depot with the four Banelings. Supply Depot is going down, one Baneling still at the top, and now he's just swarming in with the more Zerklings, and looks like this Kyrgyz style too base circling attack was enough for him. So Chance taking game number two very well played and personally I like this um, Kyrix ZVT style with the mass banelings, high economy banelings on two bases. It was just uh, going for the centrifugal hooks timing push actually uh, um, because I like the style because it's just so entertaining to watch because you know Okay, there's total action non-stop. And that's why I'm really happy uh, that we just were able to see this. And this best of five just became a best of three by chance tying up the series 1-1. One, one, the next... Uh, the player who wins the next two out of three matches will take home this series, will take home the finals, and will take home the Craft Cup number 25, and game number three will be played on Scrap Station.